Hey everybody, my name is Christina Alabato. I'm a Broadway actor, TV film actor, voice actor. Back on YouTube, I know, you've heard it from me before. Christina, are you ever gonna be on YouTube consistently? Or are you just gonna keep showing up once every six months and think we give a sh I mean, I don't know if anyone cares, but I'm still gonna show up when I want to. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be episode one, week one of a new series. I'm gonna start on this YouTube channel and on my TikTok and wherever else I feel like posting it. We'll see how it goes. There's so many places to post things. Um, I'm gonna do a week in review, a weekly review on Sunday nights. Um, of how my week went as an actor. So I feel like one of the reasons I like my social media platforms, my TikTok, my YouTube, and why I started it was I like the community of actors, aspiring actors, people going for it right now, um, artists that like to come here for information about the business, my perspective on the business, a place to meet people and talk about the business. I think that Broadway and acting in general is such a community-based job that it's important to build our communities. And what I've loved so much over the years um, is how many of you come here to find out more information about Broadway, to find fellow um, Broadway fans and artists that love what we do here. I just figured I would start kind of going through my week as an actor so that you can see what it's like. So for those of you that don't know me that are finding this um, and you don't know who I am, my name's Christina. Um, I've been working on and off Broadway and on camera and in the booth um, doing voiceover work for the last 14 years. I started my professional career in 2008. I did the first national tour of Spring Awakening. I went on from there and did three Broadway shows. I did um, American Idiot on Broadway. I did American Psycho on Broadway. And I did Mean Girls on Broadway as Gretchen Wieners, which is how most of you know who I am. Um, I also do television and film. I've been on TV shows as guest stars, as co-stars. I've been in feature films like Disney movies, Better Nate Than Ever, which some of you saw about theater. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's amazing. Last summer, I've done indie features. I've done short films. I've done a lot of different things on camera as well. Um, and I'm also a voice actor. You can hear my voice on a ton of cartoons. Right now, specifically, you can hear me on Pantheon on AMC. You can hear me on um, Monster High on Nickelodeon coming out at the end of October. And I've voiced a ton of other characters that you may know from your television shows you watch. So the reason I tell you that is because I want this series to allow you kind of a peek into someone that has been doing this for a while, I am successful at what I do. What I want to do is demystify the word successful or professional or what it's supposed to look like when you make it. A lot of you talk to me about, I'm just waiting to make it for my big break, to get that show, to book my Broadway show, all those things that you're fighting for and you're working towards. And I have um, a lot of private career coaching students that I help um, learn about the business and get their careers, you know, as much as I can help them about auditions and getting an agent and all that stuff. And I find that the, that the people that start to actually make things happen are people that understand that this business and doing acting as a business is a really long game. It's such not a short game. It can feel that way when we audition, but it's such a long game. There's so much that goes into being a professional actor and actually booking enough work over the years and years that we do this to sustain your life in New York City or LA and to be happy, right? Um, so I'm focusing this week in the life vlog about what it was like for me as a working or not working actor week to week. Every week looks totally different from the other. That's what kind of why I wanted to do this. I wanted to sort of vlog through what a good amount of time of my life looks like. Again, I'm somebody that's done Broadway, that's done off Broadway, that's done TV shows, that's done movies. And you would be surprised how many weeks and weeks and weeks I don't book a job. I don't have um, a big exciting thing happening. I feel like I'm in a rut. I don't get auditions. All that stuff that you feel, I still feel. And I just think, I don't know, I wanted to like demystify this idea of when I make it, I'm going to make it and not feel the way I feel. You're still going to want more opportunity and you're going to want to book bigger and better jobs and that never goes away. And so I just kind of wanted to share a peek in my life and what that looks like week to week um, for anyone that's interested. So yeah, and if you're not interested, it's fine, but I am going to talk about my weeks. Um, this idea kind of came up because... Um, I had a really slow summer as an actor. I didn't have a ton of auditions. I didn't have a ton going on. I didn't have a project coming up. I didn't have a show that was coming up. It got really slow when I got back from um, this out of town uh, tryout of Kiss by Aztec. I just didn't have much going on. And I was starting to go a little crazy. Um, 
I feel like I hit some like emotional lows that happen in the business. It's, it's such a big part of this is our mental game of all of this. And um, I wanted to share that with you all because I know that you all have your own struggles and I have my own struggles and my own anxieties about what I want to accomplish and how I'm going to get there. And it's a normal thing to feel. And that's one of the things I really want to try to drive home with this is that like it's normal to feel anxious and uncomfortable and not sure of what's going on and afraid you're never going to work again. All those things are real emotions that we all feel, even the most successful people that you love on Broadway. There's a piece of us, it's it's a it's a weird business. It's hard to know and it's also not personal. There's only so many shows that you're right for, etc. So I find that one of the reasons that I'm happy and also feel like I can make it week to week and month to month and year to year is yes, because I've had the privilege and have been in the right place at the right time to book big Broadway shows that have been incredible. I love when that happens when I'm on Broadway in a show that I love or in a movie that's amazing that that can help sustain my life here. Um, but I also love the times when I'm doing concerts and I'm teaching and I'm making all of that work and all of that becomes my whole life of all these different things I do. So I think I, I always tell my private students, and I'll share it with you, that if your dream is to do Broadway, go for it, baby. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. But remember, the Broadway actors you love, me as an example, if you love me, you also don't have to love me, but I'm a Broadway actor. I don't only do Broadway. I can't. Like, I, there's only so many shows that I'm right for. So what do I do in between? How do I make money? How do I pay my mortgage? How do I do all of those things? And also stay happy and not be doing things that make me uh, miserable. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you all about. And I've crafted over the many, many years of doing this, different ways of making money and income when I'm not in a Broadway show or not in a movie or not on a television show that sustain and can keep me going and keep me afloat. And I think that that eclecticness in how I'm creating my um, wealth around my life um, and how I can sustain myself is vital. And I tell that to you because I think it's really easy to be like, I'm going to be on Broadway and everything's going to be great. Yeah, you'll be on Broadway for a while and then your Broadway show will close and then what are you going to do? And all the Broadway shows that next season you're not right for. So what are you going to do? You can't wait for the next season. You got to do your thing. So that's why I love voice acting. I do a bunch of different stuff. And then I, you know, I write it all down in my um, planner. So I'm just going to kind of go through my week with you all and let you know what's up. So that was a very long way of saying welcome to week one of my weekly check-in vlog. Um, is this a vlog? I don't even really know what a vlog is. Is this just a YouTube video to me? Holding for sirens. Anyway. Um, okay, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm also trying to think of a name for this. So if anyone has a cute little punny name about M Christina Alivato's weekly actor check-in, let me know. So welcome to Title to Come. Okay, so we are talking about the week of October 10th. So that's where I'm starting. I'm going Monday to Sunday. So again, why I started this, why I wanted and had this idea um, that obviously took me too long to do because this week is going to make y'all laugh is because my summer, basically when I got back from Aztec, if you watched my previous video, which if I posted it, you watched it. If I didn't post it before this, you haven't watched it. So I will repeat myself for five seconds, which is um, when I got back from Kiss My Aztec, it was pretty slow here for me. I had a slow summer. Summer to me personally is always notoriously slow. That's my opinion. I feel like there's not as much going on. Everyone's chilling out, going on vacation. And I'm like, oh my God, God, I need something to do. Um, so summer's a little like slow, which is fine, but I basically kind of like wasn't auditioning much in the summer. I didn't have a lot going on. I didn't have a lot of irons in the fire and I was like going a little crazy. It's always good to check in with that. Like I can't, like it's not always gonna be the same. I think that's one thing that I love about doing this for a living is that I never know what any week or month or year is gonna look like. And when I'm at my best um, emotionally, I feel like that, invigorates me and excites me. And when I'm so, sort of at my lowest, that can be really overwhelming. Um, I do think that it's sort of a long standing thing that comes with the job of being a professional actor. Um, so I do try to accept that and see it more in the light of like, this is so exciting. The mystery of that is great. Um, and I actually do feel like my base level of that is that opinion. Otherwise I feel like I wouldn't still be doing this. So let's check in week of October 10th. Okay, so um, 
I had a really great week this week. This is not a good example for the point that this, oh, this is covering the microphone, put this down. Um, okay, so the week of October 10th. Um, what's funny about this week is that I had a very exciting week, which is kind of annoying that this is the first episode because the point of this was to prove to you that every week looks different. And I swear to God, I had week after week after week after week, literally week after week after week of nothing. Not a lot of auditions going on, nothing being booked, nothing happening, no offers, like nothing happening. I am serious, trust me. You can pretend like I did this weekly check-in all of July, August, and September, and that was the truth. Um, but, <laughs> but hilariously enough, my first weekly check-in, which I thought about doing when I was totally bored, was a very exciting week. So I'm going to share that with you right now. Um, okay. So this week, um, I had, I'll start with my auditions. I had no legit auditions. When I say legit auditions, I mean theater, TV, or film. Um, so no legit auditions, zero. Um, those auditions come from my agent or my manager. I'm not self-submitting, so I didn't get any auditions this week. Um, I got four voiceover auditions, so that I put in the commercial pile of things. Um, so I think I had like three animations and one commercial voiceover audition. So I had my voiceover auditions, which I do at home. Sent those off throughout the week. I had two coachings. Well, I'll start on Monday. So Monday, I was at a bachelor party. I came back and I started working on a concert that me and Kyle and Erica and Bob were doing this week. Um, so I rehearsed on Monday. That was my Monday was really making the set list and making sure we knew what we were doing for Friday, um, which was a couple of days ago. On Tuesday, I, well, also what happened this week, it actually happened last week, but I'm going to include it in this weekly review. I booked a movie. I booked a feature film, a low budget indie feature film. Um, that was a huge win for me. Again, why this is hilarious to me is it was very, very slow and a lot of things changed in the last two weeks, which has been great. But again, changed for a short amount of time. This isn't like life changing, like, oh my God, all my, all my problems are answered. No, this is, yes, I've been putting auditions into the void. Audition, 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 nothing comes. And look, I booked something. I booked a feature film, a supporting character in a feature film, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, that starts literally next week. And this is how this happens, y'all. You audition, you audition into the void. You're like, nothing's ever going to happen. Then all of a sudden your manager and your agent call and they're like, what? You got a feature film. Yay. You're doing it. You're about, you're going to leave for set next week. They're so excited to meet you. And it all goes from there. So I booked a feature film. I'm so excited. I start shooting it next week. Um, and I'll shoot, uh, through the beginning of November, which is a huge win for me. I had been auditioning a lot and I haven't been on set since last December or last November. So it's been a while. And I was really starting to like lose my patience. And I was like, Oh my gosh, when is this going to happen? And I sent this audition tape and I was like, come on girl, just like be spontaneous, do your thing. Like you got this. And I booked the feature film. So I'm super excited. Can't tell you what the feature film is yet, but it's a great cast. I am so excited about it. It's really funny. I have a really great part in it and I'm super excited to meet these people next week and get started shooting. So because of that booking, I had a meeting this week on Tuesday with my director of the movie and um, the two girls that I play opposite in the film, which was really fun. We met on Zoom. We talked about the process of what the movie's going to be like um, and everyone's super, super amped about this film. So I'm excited about that. So we met on Zoom. It was nice to meet them. I got really excited. So did that. I taught... Um, I had a coaching. So again, how I'm making money, I do private coachings, which is a huge help to me on in between big jobs, like right now. Um, so I did my coaching and then I had an evening rehearsal with Erica and Kyle and Bob. And we ran through all of our music that we have for our concert this week. Um, that was Tuesday. Wednesday, I had a concert for a friend Z. My friend Z um, did their first solo show at 54 Below, and I was fortunate enough to sing a song with them. Um, so we had sound check that day. Uh, then I arrived later in the evening. I sang at the concert. I only had one song, so I got to sit and enjoy their amazing show. Um, and then I had a little reunion with my Kiss My Aztec cast, and then I went home. So that was Wednesday. Thursday, I had one coaching and rehearsal for this concert. Um, and then Friday, which was kind of the main event, was this weekend. Um, we did a concert, Broadway in the Vines, in the North Fork, um, the four of us. We uh, sang two sets of music under a beautiful sunset in the North Fork of Long Island um, with our amazing friends at Rose Hill Winery. 
which is an incredible gig that I'm so grateful that I get to do. And then uh, Saturday, we were there for the rest of the day. And then Sunday, my jobs on Sunday were that I did selected shorts, which is this really awesome thing um, that has been done in New York for a very, very long time where um, actors read short stories. And we got to do one in New Jersey, which I've only ever done them at Symphony Space. And so me and Becky Ann Baker and Zach Grenier went out to New Jersey and read some short stories and I just got back from that. So other things that happened this week, which was really exciting, I got two offers. I got offered a 29 hour reading, which will be happening in November. Um, and I got offered a, a three week lab that's happening in December. So again, y'all, this week, was insane. This does not happen all the time. As you will see as I continue these weekend reviews, you're gonna have weeks where I go, literally nothing happened. Um, I'm twiddling my thumbs, no auditions, nothing's happening. I didn't know how I was gonna make money this week. But this week I had a really, really solid week, which was awesome. I'm so grateful for this week. I needed it. I kind of was like dipping down and I was really like, come on girl, you got this, do not stop. Like, this is how this goes, you're used to this. Don't give up. And that is the rhetoric that I have, you know, with myself all the time and with my private students that I career coach is don't give up on those slow weeks because then look, this week like happened and I was not expecting that. So this was a really, really great week. I'm very grateful for all this opportunity. And that was my week. So again, how I made money, I did coachings this week. I did two concerts this week and I did a selected shorts short story reading. That is how I made my money as an actor this week. Um, and I got to really get excited about future projects, which is really, really exciting. So I have a very fun, full fall and winter coming up. Um, and I can't wait to continue sharing that experience with you all. Uh, and then you'll see in January when I'm like, nothing's happening and I'm crying in a corner, how crazy and different this career can be from week to week, month to month, year to year. Um, so anyway, that was my first weekly check-in. Thank you all for joining me. I hope this is interesting to you, you actors, you fans of Broadway, everybody's experience is different as an actor. So this is just my experience and how it's going for me. Everyone has their own journey, their own story and their own own way of dealing with all of this stuff and the best way that I do is that I try really really hard to have a ton of different options for me as to how I make money how I stay artistic how I stay motivated and excited by what I'm doing here in New York City and how I stay happy and sustained and fulfilled the only thing I'm not talking about on this because that's not what this is about is like my personal life which is the thing that actually keeps me grounded. I saw a ton of friends this week. Maybe I'll include that in the next vlog. I had dinners with friends. I had phone calls with friends. I did these concert with my best friends. Um, Bob and I had amazing, you know, times together, um, taking walks and working on other projects that have nothing to do with theater and have nothing to do with being an actor, but other things we're doing. Um, and that kind of stuff is really what keeps me happy and so grateful for this life. So it's a combination of that. But this vlog is really just about like, what's the work like as an actor? So anyway, that's it for me. Can't wait to hear about how your October 10th through 16th were. Leave me comments about how you did. What were your wins? I think our wins can be really, really small sometimes and really, really big sometimes. It can be as small as I went to the gym twice this week. It can be as big as I booked my first short film, it can be any of those things. So maybe throw in the comments. Let's build our community of like, let's talk about our wins. Let's talk about what's hard. Um, not be afraid of that and just share everything here. Meet your fellow artists and actors that are pounding the pavement just like you. And remember that we're all on a different journey, a different path, but all of it is the same in the sense that we're artists trying to do our thing any way we can. Um, and this is how I did it this week. Thank you all so much for joining me. I'm gonna try to throw this up on TikTok. I hope this sounds good. Maybe I'll make it a podcast. Um, and thank you for always supporting me, uh, even with my inconsistencies of posting. So stick around for week two of next week. And I wish you the best of luck next week. Break a leg, stay focused, stay motivated, take breaks when you need to, and trust that you are enough in all of this. Okay, love you. Bye!